Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a what sold video between May 15th and May 30th, 31st? How many days are in May? I think there was 31. Anyway, till the end of the month. My name is Melissa, also known as the Thrifty Broad, and I go to buy, sell trade stores, thrift stores, and the Goodwill outlet to get inventory to sell on eBay and Poshmark. First on Poshmark on May 15th, I sold some good American women's size 16 blue, basically shorts, denim shorts. Anyway, they were not getting that much interest. I know good Americans kind of going down a little bit. Um, so certain styles are doing great. The shorts, these particular shorts just weren't doing well. I don't know if it was the size uh, versus the style. I'm not sure. Anyway, so they told, sold for $21 on Poshmark with discounted shipping. So I made $14.78. And that's my gross profit without my cost of goods. Next on the 15th, I sold Vintage Alfred Dunner, a woman's 20 skirt. It's a midi skirt. Sold for $8 with $2 shipping discount. So I made $3.03. .03. I probably wouldn't pick that up again, obviously. I think I, I'd gone through a time where I was picking up stuff just for Depop, which was a big mistake for me since I don't sell that much on Depop anyway. And I kind of navigated away from it. And now I completely stopped selling on anything but eBay and Poshmark. That's the only apps I'm selling on. I may start selling on whatnot with uh, live sales. I'm still debating that whether or not I want to do that model or not. Um, however, I'm going to do primarily or only eBay and Poshmark. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cute skirt and I probably could have taken it to Crossroads. They probably would have taken it from me and I probably would have made more money, <laughs> which is kind of gross. Anyway, learn and move on, right? Okay, so these airy chill play move women's uh, pants, extra large leggings, they were floral. I've had these for a while and they just wouldn't move. So anyway, they sold for $6. I was doing an aggressive sale. Um, $2.02 was the shipping discount, so I made $1.00. Yeah, I probably lost a dollar on that. But you know what? I don't often lose lose money, so I'm okay with that. Okay, on the 15th, but on eBay, I sold these Banana Republic Women's Blue Cotton Blend High Rise Slim Ankle Jeans, size 25. They sold for $8.75 plus shipping. They paid $8.75 plus $8.30 in shipping. Um, so I earned after taxes or after shipping and everything and the fees, I earned $7.11. Basically my cost of goods is like $2 for most items. So just count that as my cost of goods. Next is this Anthropology Kindred Women's Medium Red On or Off Shoulder Floral Smocked Waist Dress. Um, it sold for $20 plus shipping. So after the fees and shipping and all that, and it did have an ad fee on there as well, um, I made $16.28. Next is this Torrid GI Olive Golden Day Destruct Tea Women's 2X 100% Cotton Floral Butterfly print on the front. It was new with tag. It would not go. I modeled it. It didn't matter. I delisted it, relisted it on both platforms. Nobody wanted it. Anyway, so it sold for $5.50 on eBay plus shipping. Um, so the order after all the fees and all that, I made $6.26. The next item is Dress Barn Women's Purple Green 100% Polyester Mixed Print Boho Midi Dress, size 18. It sold for $7 plus shipping. So after the fees and everything, I made $5.53. And that was some older inventory that I was just trying to get rid of. One teaspoon Bandits Women's 22, very tiny. Um, Tie-dye button fly relax fit long rise shorts. It sold for $25 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $19.45, which is fine. It didn't take that long to flip. It didn't flip for a whole lot, but it flipped pretty fast. Uh, the next item is Skechers Bob's Memory Foam Women Navy Blue Textile Sneaker Shoes, size 7.5. These were my size. Um, it took forever and a day to get them to sell. 
I believe I got this from a thread up uh, rescue box like uh, over a year ago, finally sold. Anyway, so after fees and all that, I made $4.24, but honestly, I did not make a profit on that. And that's why I do not order those boxes anymore because they're just, that last box was pretty awful. And really, I don't think I made my money back on that, and you know, I'm done. I can pick better things. I don't need to go to thread up and do that. I like a good mystery box, but I also want to up my cost of goods and not my cost of goods. I want to up my um, what I'm making and I can't really do that with mystery. The next item is a Scala Collection Women's One Size Strawberry, not straw, not strawberry, straw boater hat is sold for $10.25 plus shipping. Um, and so after all that, I made $5.78. Um, yeah, um, I shouldn't have picked up this hat. <laughs> would I pick up this hat again? No. Anyway, uh, moving on, I really thought this would go for a bit more, but maybe... I bet you Kristen is right and tie-dye is out and this is probably why this sat for so long. Um, this is a Torrid Women's Tie-Dye V-neck long sleeve cotton blend rayon sweater. It was a 5X. Normally 5X and Torrid fly off the shelf. Not these ones. <laughs> Not this at all. Anyway, it sold for $15 plus shipping. So after the fees and all that, I made $8.70. I did get this at the bins, so I did make a profit. Uh, the next item is this unbranded ditzy floral black white prairie cottage core dress large. It sold for $8.75 plus shipping. Um, after fees and all that, I made $6.30. I got this at the bins. And the last order for the 15th of May was this Kona Sol, uh, Sol, yeah, Kona Sol women's medium crossback one piece floral swimsuit. It sold for $8.05 plus shipping. Um, so after fees and all that, I made $8.84. Now going on to the 16th, I sold this handmade vintage uh, cobalt floral maxi renaissance party cocktail dress. It was an extra large. I only say extra large because there was no size tag. This was handmade. And so I made sure to put that in the description. Somebody made me an offer $40 and I took it. So this sold for $40. And so I made $32. So I made a $30, $30 profit because I got this at the bins. Okay, so the next thing that sold is on eBay. Uh, the rest of the 16th will be on eBay. And I sold this Free People Crystal Mini Dress in Raspberry Floral. Sold for $25 plus shipping. After fees and all that, I made $18.45. Title IX. Okay. Okay, let's back up. Now, Title IX, I think, used to go for a lot more. And I think it might be going downhill. Let me know if, I don't find it that often in my area, but let me know if you think it's also kind of going down, like and, and, as in how much we can resell it for. You know what I mean? Both, I got two dresses recently and they both didn't sell for a, a ton and I really thought they would do better than they did. Especially since the comp said they would do better, but this, no one was biting and I just, did, I don't want to hold on to inventory for an indefinite amount of time. Anyway, so this is Title IX Floral Navy Blue Reversible Flow 2-in-1 Dress Women's Size Medium. Maybe the size is the problem here, and I do recognize that. Maybe in a bigger size, it has more value. Sold for $19 plus shipping on eBay. So after the fees and all that, I made $12.76, which is fine, um, but... I just, I thought maybe I would make 20 to $25 in profit, but that's okay. Uh, the next item is Lane Bryant Women's 18 or 20 Mid-Rise Capri Olive Green Plum Pants. They sold for $14.70 uh, plus shipping. And so after fees and the shipping, I made $8.50. Olakai and Annie Annie. Annie? <laughs> I'm probably screwing that up. 
Olakai Annie Annie Sandals, women's size eight, brown leather flip-flops. I modeled these, those are my feet, my perfect little cute feet, like a lot of the feet guys like to tell me, which I don't mind a compliment, I love a compliment. Anyway, so they sold for $21 plus shipping, and after fees and all that, I made $13.84, and I got these at the bins. I got pretty much all of this at the bins. If I remember I got it somewhere else, I will let you know. The next item is Speedo Women's Blue Stretchy One Piece uh, Partial Open Racer. Partial Open? Yeah, I borrowed somebody else's title and I really should have read that better. Anyway, Open Racer Back Swimsuit Size 10. It sold for $7 plus shipping. Um, The... Speedo swimsuits that are just very pedestrian. They don't go for a ton. I've had this for a long time. Just kind of blowing it out. The swimsuits I pick up now are, um, I try to pick on like Maxine of Hollywood and, and La Blanca and stuff like that. La Blanca is really expensive. Retail, I know because I've bought one full retail before. And it was like $155 for that swimsuit. I still own it. So, <laughs> um. I'm, I will get rid of it when I can no longer fit it. I can still fit it. Anyway, so um, it sold for, oh, after the fees and all the shipping and all that, I made $5.88. So don't pick up the pedestrian Speedos. Now, the Speedo swimwear that is well, a new tag or has some kind of special thing about it, look those up. But if you find a lot of like basic ones that are like all in the same size, you might be able to lot them up and sell them to one person. I don't know. Just an idea. The next item is Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, Vintage Silk Velvet Burnout Floral Line Maxi Skirt Size 14. It sold for $25 plus shipping. And it uh, so after fees and shipping and all that, I made $18.82. So very happy about that. Next is this, and this is part of a three-piece bundle on eBay. And this went to my friend, Dawn, uh, that I met through my friend, Kristen. So thank you so, so much if you watch this. I really appreciate you. So uh, she bought these polo Ralph Lauren jeans, uh, men's 30, 32 ripstop fabric military trouser pants. And so that part of it was, it, it's over $10.75 plus shipping. So the other one is two, because <laughs> she bought three things. So these two things are Athleta Women's Heather Gray Drawstring Pocket Metro Street Jogger Pants Small and Offline by Airy Women's Medium Crop Charcoal Gray Leggings. Both of those together was $22.74 plus shipping. Um, and so basically, on the other one it says I made $16. I didn't really, because I don't think, I, there was no shipping costs on there, but really the shipping was like $15. So it was like $14 altogether. So take that into consideration. So yeah. Oh yeah, because the $14, does, it does come out of this one. So anyway, so I guess the other one, I guess I did technically made $16, but this one I made $12.84 because this one is the one I did the shipping on. I don't know why eBay did it the way they did it, but they did it. Anyway, moving on. I was very happy about that sale. Three pieces out in one time. Oh, makes me happy. Anyway, so White House Black Market, Women's Six Black Halter Maxi 100% Cotton Dress. Uh, when I picked this up, I was like, you know, this probably won't sell for a lot, but it will eventually sell. I was right. Um, it sold for $18 plus shipping. So um, after fees and all that and after shipping costs, I made $14.08. Um, this is the Sack Women's Brown Leather Satchel Handbag with crossbody strap one size. It sold for $12.88 plus shipping. Um, and so this, after the shipping fee and all the other fees, I made $9.18. The next item is Tadashi Soji Women's Double Zero White High Low Luz, 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 Luz? L-U-Z bridal gown and I put altered because when I looked up the stock photo of this dress it had these uh cold shoulder sleeves that the previous old owner had them professionally removed because if you look at it 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 was altered and 
by a professional seamstress. And you can tell. You can tell when it's professional versus not. Anyway, so I made sure to show where they should have been. I made sure to disclose that this was cold shoulder. It is no longer. It's just now a high neck. So uh, a very nice person bought this in Florida. And so I hope she enjoys it. And I think she bought this for her wedding dress, if I remember. Two hours later. This is her remarks. I'm so happy with the dress and I will I would like to thank you for such rapid shipping. This dress is going to make my wedding a special one. I'm so exciting. It's, it's so excited. It's so pretty and I'm glad someone found a great wedding dress and it didn't big, break their bank. Anyway, so they bought this for $41.99 um, plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $35.71 and I helped make someone's wedding special. That makes me very, very happy. This one is Wool Overs Women's Gray, 100% lamb's wool, long sleeve oversized waffle sweater large. It sold for $9.89 plus shipping. After shipping and all that, I made $7.98. Uh, Lucky Brand Women's Large Brown Pink Polka Dot Western Pearl Snap Shirt Blouse. It sold for $12.60 plus shipping. So I made $10.32 after all the fees. May 17th on Poshmark, I sold this Gymboree Girls Size 6 100% Cotton Green White Dress. And uh, it sold, well, yeah, for $6. It was just a straight up sent me an offer. So I made $3.05. I really don't pick up kids that much anymore. So yeah. Uh, the next thing that sold on uh, Poshmark was this Prana Women's Small Single Breasted uh, Knit Asymmetrical Heather Gray Jacket. It sold for $42. And uh, so I made $33.60 after fees. I got this at the bins. Um, I sold this Lulu's Alley Twist Back Metallic Mermaid Dress. It sold for $14 without it. There's no discounted shipping or anything like that. So I made $11.05. The next item is this Venus Women's 2X Pink Floral Front Tie. Well, they weren't plaza, but they were wide leg pants, you know, for, you know, vacation, whatever, summer. Anyway, it sold for... $12, no discounted shipping, so I made $9.05. I sold this Young, Fabulous, and Broke women's, uh, like, kind of tulip cross in the front um, mini skirt. It sold for $10. I've never found this brand. I just, I the comps were horrid on it, but I bought it just so I could sell it, just so I could say I did. So, of course, you know, I find Young, Fabulous, and Broke when it's on its way out. But I think there's still good pieces in this line that you can find that sell for a lot more than $10. This was a small size. I was happy just to let it go. So I made $7.05. Our Artelier. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, Nicole Miller Women's Burgundy Bell Sleeve Cashmere Sweater Size Medium. It sold for $12.60 plus shipping. And after fees and all that, I made $11.69. Vintage Vanity Fair Women's Extra Large Dark Green Velour Snap Closure Robe. It sold for $17 plus shipping. After fees and all that, I made $13.78. This is Land's End Women's Extra Large Pink 100% Cotton Cardigan Mother of Pearl Buttons. I thought this would do a lot better than it did. It sold for $6.76 uh, plus shipping. Um, so after fees and all that, I made $3.43. So really, I made like $1.50 on it. Anyway, so J. Jill Love Linen Women's Small Tropical Floral Shirt Short Sleeve T-Shirt. Sold for $6.65 uh, plus shipping. So I made $7.29 after all the fees. Uh, the next item is Women's Plus 2X Floral Sleeveless Maxi Slip Dress. Um, it sold for $25 plus shipping. I was really excited about this. I did, ma uh, did, yeah, I did model this. And so after fees and shipping and all that, I made $19.88. 
Anthropology Fay women's six tulip a line skirt with pockets, fully lined cotton. It sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made twelve dollars and nineteen cents. Universal thread utility a line uh, midi tan lined button front sh skirt new tag women's extra small. It sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $16. So that's great. I think my cost of goods for that day was like four or something. So I made a pretty good profit off of that. Um, unbranded women's red large boho maxi dress, ditzy floral, cottage, fairy, bohemian. Sold for $6.42 plus shipping. So after the fees and all that, I made $4.78. Now I'm being really really selective about the unbranded stuff I'm picking up anymore so yeah this next item is Susie Fairchild Seattle 100% chiffon butterfly dress had butterflies all over it's very pretty um small polka dot and it sold for $12.60 which this is vintage um I thought it would do better because of the butterflies and the polka dots not so much. So um, after the fees and the shipping, I made $12.48. And the last thing to sell on the 17th is this Tommy Bahama men's extra, extra large, 100% silk, Aloha, Hawaiian shirt. Sold for $35 plus shipping. So after the fees and shipping and all that, I made $25.11. If I'm out the bins, I absolutely keep picking up Tommy Bahama. On the 18th, back on Poshmark, I sold, there's a Max Edition Women's Pink 100% acrylic, uh, like shawl type wrap. It sold for $35 just straight up. So after the, after the fees, I made $28. This next item is Tahari Women's Gray White Plaid Wool Blend Sweater. This is that sweater that the woman opened a case. The, there was a picture of the, the title didn't say wool in it, but the description did and the pictures did. So it was, come on. So she, I, I, I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure that it didn't fit her. I'm a hundred percent sure she knows you can't return for fit on Poshmark. And I'm a hundred percent sure that she was going to lose this as soon as she opened it. She sent me a message. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to return. I'm allergic to wool. Everyone I know, and of course, of course, there's always that one person out there that just isn't very diligent about their own allergy or whatever. And I'm not here to have a debate whether or not it is an allergy. It's an irritant whatever to some people. However, that's not the problem here. That's not the point here. However, she immediately messaged me. I told her she wouldn't be able to return it because there is no returns for that because I did disclose it. And then she opened a case saying that nowhere did it say that it had wool in it. Lady, it did. It was in the picture. It was in my description. So I screenshotted both things and I put it in the case um, and I won. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? I'm not. Anyway, so I made $12 on this sweater and bye-bye, Felicia. <sighs> so glad it's just gone and I blocked her because I never want her to shop with me ever again. So I sold the soft surrounding women's oversized medium muted floral long sleeve top blouse. It sold for $6.76 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $6.59. Um, vintage 60s, 70s, JL Hudson Company women's tan pockets. 100% cashmere overcoat, extra large. It sold for $32.97 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $22.56. And I did get this at the bins. This one is Soft Surroundings Women's 3X Purple Bleach Distressed 100% Linen Blouse. Now, this had one little single bleach mark on it somewhere. So I decided to 
go all in and bleach distress it so it's still oh it's still somewhat in i don't it's not selling like hotcakes like it used to but this worked out for this particular item it sold for 29 dollars 99 plus shipping it was just a straight up it wasn't even an offer they just bought it and they were and they were happy with it very happy so 22 dollars 32 is what i made after ebay's fees and all that and the last thing to sell on the 18th is this unstructured by Clark's Women's Nine Black Leather Office Career Slip-On Shoes. They sold for $17.95 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $12.37. Okay, on the 19th of May, I sold this Michael Kors Men's White 100% Cotton uh, sweater. It had like a quarter zip. Sold for $10, just a straight up offer. I was like, you know what, let's get it out of here. So I made $7.05. This is Athleta Metro Downtown Jogger. I had another one in size large. I sold that one for $18 on Poshmark. And so after fees, I made $14.40. Outdoor Research Women's Gray Striped Long Sleeve Button Popover Top Size Large. It sold for $20, which is a straight up offer. So I made $16 after the fees. Over to eBay, I sold the Salvatore Fer Ferragamo Women's 8B Navy Blue Suede Square Toe Slip-On Loafers. I sold them for $22.50 plus shipping. So they, um, after fees and all that, I made $13.51. This is Dover Women's Black Mini Faux Vegan Leather Crossbody Doctor's Bag Purse One Size. It was very, very tiny. It was like this big. Anyway, so it's over $7.72 plus shipping. So I made $7.23. Express Women's Six Sleeveless Black Ruffle Zip Front uh, front Jumpsuit. This was clearly a mistake. Anyway, I because I sold one jumpsuit for like 50 bucks. I was like, all right, another jumpsuit. But that was bigger. Anyway, so it's over $9.97 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $9.38. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren Orange Lace Short Sleeve Shift Midi Dress, size large. It sold for $8.31 plus shipping. So I made $5.87 after the fees and all that. Anyway, Lucky Brand Women's Orange 100% Viscose Boho Peasant Floral Blouse Size 1X. It sold for $7.33 plus shipping. So I made $6.35 after fees. If you're new here, hi, how are you? So glad you're here. Um, I hope you enjoy a What Soul video and I hope you stick around, hit subscribe button, leave me a comment, say hi to me in the comments and leave me a heart. And if you're returning, you are the real MVP and I really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much for coming back. Thank you so, so much for choosing to spend your time with me because you have lots of options. You have so many options out there and I understand that. So thank you for coming back. That means you hit the subscribe button and you hit the all notification button so you know when I load a brand new video such as this one today. Okay, so Talbot, Talbots, Talbots, Women's 10 Black 100% Linen Open Front Blazer. It sold for $14 plus shipping. Uh, so after fees and all that, I made $11.48. This is Banana Republic Women's Small Silver Shoulder Bag Clutch Party Metallic. Um, it sold for $18 plus shipping on eBay. So after fees and all that, I made $11.50. Someone tried to offer me $10 in Poshmark for this like three times. And I was like, no. So I'm glad I held out because not too much longer, somebody else bought it even with the flaw. Oh, yeah, and then somebody else did buy it for, like, $15, and they saw, oh, there was a flaw, so they 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 canceled it. I'm like, this purse, yeah, had a rough time. Uh, women's Black Boho Sheer Long Open Front 3-4 Sleeve Bohemian, co Bohemian, Bohemian, Bohemian Kimono One Size. So for $7 plus shipping, so after fees and all that, I made $5.43. And the last thing on the 19th was this vintage Escada women's black tiered star button sheath dress size EU42 or US 10 to 12. Of course, there was measurements. 
Um, this sold for $42.56 plus shipping. And so I made $29.91. I know I paid $10 for this like four years ago, <laughs> three years ago, something like that. Anyway, so I'm happy to make my money back plus a little bit of profit. Would I pick up this dress again? No, probably not. It took forever to sell. I mean, and it went to throw it up a couple times. It went to, I believe I even sent it to a flip lot and it came back to me and it's like, I'm glad it finally sold. All right. So on the 20th of May, back to Poshmark, I sold these Le Monde Barrel Venetian Mules women's size 41 or US 10 and a half. They had their own chart. So in my title, I said C chart and I put that as one of my pictures. It sold for $95, was a straight up offer. I had it up there for 125. If they had been, these were like wicker Venetian mules. If they had been the suede Venetian mules, I could have got $200. However, they weren't. And this particular style of this, this particular type of the style, I guess I should say, wasn't as expensive, but still $95. I got these at the bins, nothing to complain about there. So after fees and all that, I made $96. Well, the math ain't mathin'. I actually made a $76 after the fees, so $74 profit, which still is fantastic. Cool men's 3836 revolver pants style, 3232, 5232, in khaki. They sold for $20, no discounted shipping or anything like that, so I made $16. Over to eBay for the 20th. J. Crew, I beg your pardon. Women's white, 100% cotton striped t-shirt, size large. It sold for $8.05 plus shipping. So I made $8.51 after fees and shipping. Tommy Bahama, men's extra large, 100% silk, floral Hawaiian shirts. Uh, Aloha, it sold for $31 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $23.37. NYX by NYX Wear, Black Evolution Bra, Wireless T-Shirt Bra, Women's Size 2. I believe I had a the size chart from them. Um, it sold for $7.88 plus shipping. So I made $8.68.67 after fees and all that. And the last thing to sell on the 20th is the French dressing uh, jeans, women's small burgundy red long sleeve pullover sweater. Sold for $6.98 plus shipping. So I made $2.79 after fees and all that. So this vintage uh, Casper women's dark blue 100% polyester stretch midi crinkle skirt sold for $13 on Poshmark. Um, I don't think it was an offer to likers. Oh, it was. It was an offer to likers. So I made $8.03. This is Cyrillus Women's 2 or Extra Small Beige. 100% Merino Wool Turtleneck Sweater Preppy Office. It sold for $24 with discounted shipping. So I made $17.18. This is Ava and Viv Maxi Dress Size 1X Women's Yellow White Floral Tier Tropical Sundress. So for $16 was just a straight up offer to me. So I made $12.80. These are Cool Men's 36 Renegade Dark Gray Cargo Shorts. They sold for $20, just a straight up offer. So I made $16. This is Maxine of Hollywood, size 18 floral swim top, only adjustable straps, beach vacay. Sold for $28 with a discounted shipping. So I made $20.38 and it was pre-loved. But I did model it, so I think that probably helped me. Next one is American Eagle Mom Jeans, high rise distress, size 16, long, tall, medium, uh, wash 2021, sold for $22 with a shipping discount. So I made $15.58. Now over to eBay for the 21st. 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent Women's Small 100% Silk Abstract Floral Dress. It sold for $15 plus shipping. So I made $11.93 after all the fees. This is Vintage Simply Silk Women's Large 100% Silk Black Floral Midi Dress. But that's not what I ended up send, sending her. Not because I made a mistake. Well, I did make a mistake. But here's a little story time. If you watch this ship with me, sorry, it's going to be a repeat. But anyway, so I took this dress to Crossroads. Crossroads bought it for me. And two days later, 
I didn't realize it was still on eBay and it sold for $50. Yeah, so I took my half back to Crossroads and it was gone. It had already sold. They had a way to look it up. They looked it up and it did actually sell already. So I contacted her and I said, hey, I'm terribly sorry um, for whatever reason. I do not have this, but would could you pick a... You, you're welcome to pick something else up to, like, I think I said $100 or whatever, or maybe even $75. Because I think she, yeah, she paid 50 for this. So she, um, she said, sure. So she took the vintage flo- uh, silk peacock uh, caftan instead. And so I was able to save the sale. So I was very happy about that. And so after fees and all that, I made $37.63. Thank you, Julie, for making the substitution. And thank you, Taylor, at Crossroads for looking that up for me. You rock, girl. You rock. Okay, so this next one is vintage Chaudry Casey Women's Long Colorful Floral Pull-On Maxi Skirt Size Medium. It sold for $9.80 plus shipping on eBay. Um, and so after fees and all that, I made $8.29. This is Anthropology Lauren Moffat Red Gold 100% Cotton Velvet Blazer. So for $11.33 plus shipping. So the shipping wasn't, I made $11.63. Uh, Wilson's Leather Adventure Bound Vintage 80s Women's Brown Patina Jacket Large. It sold for $26.27 plus shipping. So I made $16.58. Garden Gear Women's Large Green Floral 100% Cotton Pants sold for $21.25 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $17.94. And the last but not least for the 21st is this Vintage Erica Women's Black Floral Embroidered Cottage Twee Sweater Vest Large. It sold for $5.00. 40 cents plus shipping. So I made $4 and 10 cents after the fees. So on the 22nd, I sold this bundle of Noisy May women's large cropped sweater. It was bleach distressed and these vintage unbranded women's medium uh, gaucho pants. Um, together, they sold for $40. So after fees, I made $32 for both pieces, but I got them both of the bins. This is a BDG women's blue 100% cotton button up jean jacket with a hood. Um, it sold for $28 just straight up. And so I made $22.40. This is a torrid mini velvet flute fluted dress uh, 3X. It sold for $14. Now it was part of an aggressive offers I was sending out and I just didn't. I did on literally all my inventory. Anyway, so after after fees and all that, I made $9.03. I did get it to bins, so it's a super fast flip, which I'm fine with. Okay, so on eBay, Gap Women's Black Moonless Night 100% Cotton uh, 2021 Big Shirt Dress Size Medium, and it sold for $9.66 plus shipping. So I made $7.72. This is Miracle Suit Swim One Piece 14 Black Tropical Rouge Tummy Control Underwire. It sold for $35 um, plus shipping. It was very fast flip. I think it sold a couple days after I listed it. So um, I made $27.72 I made $27.72 after fees and all that. Carhartt Vintage Men's 4828 Double Knee Union Bibs. Made in the USA overalls. They sold for $30 plus shipping. So I made $19.58. Keen's Size 8 Sienna Canvas Mary Jane Flat Shoe Slip-On Women's. Um, and they sold for $30 plus shipping. And uh, so after fees and all that, I made $20.11. Marvel Men's Extra Large Luke Cage Hero for Hire 100% Cotton Graphic T-Shirt. It sold for $14 plus shipping. So after fees all that, I made $11.62. This is the North Face Women's Small Black Polyester Long Sleeve Faux Fur Full Zip Jacket. It sold for $20, no, it sold for $12.25 plus shipping. So I made $7.82. Adolf Dominguez. 
women's, not women's, men's, size large green button down linen long sleeve shirt. Sold for $25 plus shipping. And so I made $18.21 after fees and all, on all that. Back on Poshmark for the 23rd, I sold this Garnet Hill 100% linen long line open front cardigan. Sold for $40. So I made $32. And so basically I got this at the bin, so I made a $30 profit. Um, and I haven't had this that long. I think I got this during the winter, so I knew it would take until about this time to sell. And then over to eBay for the 23rd. Okay, so I sold this Torrid Curve Satin Ruffle Bodysuit Women's 4X Underwire Thong. Um, it was used, but it was washed as well. So, uh, and I steamed it. So, it sold for $20 plus shipping. And so I made $18.24. This next item is Eileen Fisher. It sold very fast. Women's extra large blue, 100% linen, sleeveless, midi dress, lag and look summer. It sold for $40 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $31.82. These are Miss Me Women's JPW 5069-3 bootcut embellished distress low rise jeans, size 28. They sold for $19.31 plus shipping. So I made $15.76 after fees. Oh, back over to Poshmark for the 24th. I sold these Merrill Men's 13 MQM Flex GTX Athletic Shoes, Old Gold Orange Yellow Activewear. Put them up there for $15. No, wow. I put them up there for $50 and they sold pretty fast. Very happy about that. So I made a $40 profit and I got these, well, I made $40. I made a $38 profit because I got these at the bins and they cleaned up really well. I'm surprised that people picked over them so much because they sold fast for 50. Uh, this next item is Bryn Walker Women's Small Made in the USA Light Green Lag and Look Crop Pants. It's that kind of celery green. Um, and they sold for $38. And so after fees and all that, I made $30.40. This next item is Torrid Women's Floral Georgette Maxi Dress Women's Size 2X Wedding Guest Resort Wear. Sold for $20. And so I made $16 after fees. Okay, I'm going to talk about this, but I did not, this got returned to me. So on the 24th, I did sell this. I do want to still show it to you. A K Un Unger New York um, Alma T Length Dress Women's 14 Cap Sleeve Square Neck. She didn't fit her right, so she returned it. I no longer, I sold this with a, a free promotion, a free a promotion of free shipping, which I no longer have on my eBay store. And now I actually do no longer have free returns. I actually turned on um, buyer paid returns and we're gonna see how that works out for me. I've been, I've been free returns for a couple years, but returns have gone up. So, and I always said to myself, if returns go up on me, that I am going to have to go over to buyer paid to you know see if that helps me in any way and that way so we'll we'll find out anyway so moving along so that did sell for 110 dollars. so that was heartbreaking i did lose out on that shipping both ways so that sucks so hopefully she sells again this calvin klein women's 18 sleeveless floral pencil neoprene dress sold for 17 dollars plus shipping and so i made 13 dollars and 23 cents after fees the next item is this Naot, N-A-O-T, I don't know how you're supposed to say that, women's EU41 US 10, 10 and a half leather cork slides. They sold for $25 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $20 and 80 cents and these sold pretty fast. Athleta women's purple sleeveless athleisure hiking active halter dress size small. Sold for $14.08 plus shipping. And so I made $13.10 after fees. And this last item for the 24th is Michael Michael Kors Black Leather Women's Small Belt. It sold for $15 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $12.84. This next item is back on Poshmark is the 25th of May. The Mountain Wolf Snow Pullover Hoodie Women's Large Oversized Graphic Print. It sold for just a straight up $35. So I made $28 after fees. The next item is Orvis Men's Green Tan Wool Acrylic Leather Distress Patina Sweater Size Medium. It sold for $20. And so I made $16. 
This next one is Cookie Street Honolulu, 100% cotton floral Hawaiian shirt, men's medium. It sold for $21, no discounted shipping or anything like that. So I made $16.80. So the first one is Gentle Souls by Kenneth Cole, women's lily ankle strap sandals, a wrap two sandals size six and a half. They sold for $35 plus shipping. So I made $25.20 after fees. This next item is Abercrombie and Fitch women's white v-neck short sleeve embroidered crop top large. It sold for uh, $12.49 plus shipping. And so I made $10.26 after fees. So there were no sales on the 26th or the 27th on Poshmark, but there was on eBay. So on the 26th, uh, I just sold this Joe J O S A Bank Executive Collection Men's Blue Speckled Cable Knit Medium Sweater. It sold for $18 plus shipping. So after fees and all that, I made $11.55. This is Jamaica Jacks Men's Medium 100% Silk Black Tropical Hawaiian Aloha Vacation Shirt. Sold for $25 plus shipping. So I made $22.48. On Cloud Shoes, Women's 7, Swiss Engineered Sneakers, Black Mesh Low Top Lace Up. Uh, they were a small size, so I sold them for $40 plus shipping on eBay. And so I made $29.07. I got these at the bins. And last but not least, for the 26 was Tory Burch Women's 30 Ivory, Ivory, Ivy Super Skinny Dark Kelly Green Jeans. They sold for $35 plus shipping, so I made $25.66. Very happy about that. The 27th has one sale. It is this vintage Brighton women's black brown pebbled leather bucket bag. One size. It sold for $13.90 on eBay plus shipping. So I made $7.85. Back over to Poshmark for the 28th. So I sold these Fry Women's Portofino Tan Leather Platform Slides. Fits true to size. They were seven and a half, which is my size, so I could try them on. Should have modeled them. I wasn't modeling yet back then, the shoes yet. But anyway, so uh, they sold for $20. Um, so I made 16. I got these a long time ago. And for the 28th on eBay... I sold these this Janeville Women's Size 10 Black Pleated Ruffle 100% Cotton Skirt. I had relisted it on eBay. I basically ended it and sold similar. Um, and so it sold for $25 plus shipping. And so I made $20.49 after fees and all that. This is an unbranded asymmetrical tunic dress, a women's 1X, 2X lag and look. It sold immediately for $35. I had it up there for $45. It was unbranded. They sent me an offer for $35. I'm like, yes, let's get this done. So after fees and all that, I made $32.58. Uh, Australia brown suede sheep fur line slipper size six. They sold for $15 plus shipping. Um, I got these at the bin, so not a big deal. So um, I got $9.48 after fees. Soul Clothing Women's Small Tie Dye 100% Cotton Smocked Midi Dress sold for $18 plus shipping. And so after fees and all that, I made $15.01. And that is it for the 28th. On to the 29th. I sold this Pistola Women's 100% Cotton Raw Edge Hem Studded Mini Denim Skirt, size 29. It sold for $25, just straight up. So I made $20. This is from that B&G Trading Company lot I got five years ago. Yeah, that's the last piece. It's gone now. Yay! Anyway, the next item is this Theory Women's Blue Medium Wash 100% um, Cotton Belt Loops Denim A-Line Skirt, size 8. It sold for $28, so I made $22.40. And the lady sent me a message. She's like, oh, I'm so excited. This fits me well. I love it. And I was really excited for her. I love it when people tell me it worked out. You know what I mean? It's nice to know that. Anyway, the next item on the 29th is Urban Outfitters Out From Under uh, Medium Tan Bralette. So for $12 and I made $9.05, which is great because that weighs literally nothing, like maybe an ounce. 
It, it actually, when I weighed it, it was like three ounces with, with the packaging. Um, Lila Rose by Lane Bryant, women's 16 abstract sleeveless sheath dress. I modeled for the front of it, but I could not zip it because I am not a 16. So I, so I put, uh, I was the model for that and I had to put up like, uh, hang a hung up shot for the back. And someone's like, show me the actual dress. I'm like, that, that is the actual dress. It just doesn't fit me. So I couldn't show you the back of the dress while it was on my body. Anyway, now I'm starting to show my face in the pictures because that way it's easier to know that I am the model and it's not, I'm not taking a stock photo, which I think it's hilarious that someone thinks I am a stock photo from the neck down, but whatever. So uh, that sold for $17, so I made $13.60. Would I pick that up again? No. Shakir Linen. Now that's the name of the company. Not, it wasn't Linen. <laughs> now, if, if you follow me on Instagram, it was a long time ago, maybe several months ago. Someone's like, this is clearly not Linen. And I just wanted to write back, you are clearly not reading. But I didn't. So anyway, um, it's 100% cotton, I think, or it was a cotton blend. Yeah, it was a cotton blend short robe. Someone finally sent me a $10 offer. And I'm like, sold. Get this out of my inventory. Um, so yeah, I made $7.05. Would I pick this up again? Hell no. On the 29th over on eBay. eBay clearly had more action during the month. Anyway, so Orange Creek Women's Orange Creek Cream say that three times fast pink soft floral pleated blouse and dress size 2x I did model it it sold for $25 plus shipping so I made $17.69 very happy about that this is Maxine of Hollywood women's ruffle two tiered one piece black multi swimsuit size 12 sold for $27.75 plus shipping so I made $21.67. This next item is Prana Women's Small Tiered Skirt Yoga Casual Breathe Purple Orange Hiking. Sold for $18 plus shipping. So I made $14.95. It sold the day I listed it. So I'm always happy to have a fast flip. And the last item for the 29th of May is the North Face Women Olive Green Gorp Core Hiking Athleisure Active Pants Size 14. So for $12 plus shipping. And so I made $7.86 after fees. Now on Poshmark, there were no sales on the 30th, but on eBay, there were. There were one. <laughs> there was one. Anyway, so it's this Democracy Short Absolution Women's Size 2 Cargo Pocket Beige Stretch Raw Hem Shorts. Now, I almost didn't pick these up because they were size 2. And I was like, mm, do size two people really need absolutions? Apparently they do. Anyway, so it sold for $20 a day. I listed it. And uh, yeah, so $20 plus shipping. So I made $15.66 and it sold either the next day or the same day. I think it was the same day. Um, if you watch my ship with me when I shipped this, I told you the right time. But I may be wrong now. It doesn't matter. Back to Poshmark for the last day of the month, which is the 31st, is this Harley Davidson Men's Extra Extra Large Scottsdale, Arizona 2017 Graphic Tee. It sold for $17. And so I made $13.60. And that's it for Poshmark. Okay, so and eBay. eBay, I sold these Columbia Women's Green Omni Shield Advanced Repellency Convertible Pants Size 14. Sold these for $22.50. I had relisted them um, because someone sent me a very low offer on Poshmark. So I relisted them on both eBay and Poshmark and then they sold on eBay. Uh, so I made $15.57 after fees and all that. This is Gap Women's Pink Red Linen Blend Stripe Button Sleeve List Shirt Dress Size Small. Sold for $12 plus shipping, so I made $9.91 after fees. Levi, Levi, Levi's, Levi's, there's Levi's, Sunny, Levi's. Levi's 501 Men's Brown Midi Rise Button Fly Straight Leg Denim Jeans, size 34, 32. I'm getting tired, can you tell? 
Anyway, these sold for $28 plus shipping. And so I made $19.65 after fees and shipping. And last but not least is this Tommy Bahama Women's Extra Large White Scoop Neck Cotton 3-4 Sleeve T-Shirt Top Blouse. Sold for $25 plus shipping. And so I made $19.35. Now, let me go add that up. So my gross sales for both platforms, which will include the eBay shipping, is $3,598.26. That's how much I made gross, but net, can I get to net here? Well, apparently I can't download a report right now, so I'm just gonna keep go with that. So that's what I made net, or not net, but that's what I made gross, um, which honestly for eBay, eBay was $26.60 and Poshmark was about $1,000. So um, between those two. So basically if you have eBay, it's pretty much what I made. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, please like and subscribe and do all the things because that helps me be found in the algorithm and I appreciate it so, so much.